Beloved, as you and I move forward in this contemporary culture, I want to take you back for a moment and talk a little bit about my journey that may apply to you. I've had significant doors open to me in life. I've had the privilege of standing on some of the greatest platforms in the church worldwide that anyone could ask for. It can be pretty overwhelming when those doors open and learning how to keep your wits about you and ask Jesus to keep you near the cross because of your own brokenness and your awareness of your fragility is really important. But in a culture where 15 minutes of fame has become the kind of driver of what's causing all sorts of calamity and disillusionment, 15 minutes of fame can cost you your life. Jesus has never been about how great he was. He's been about how humble he and his father are. And how in living the life of laying that life down for others, doors opened to bring about a change that will ultimately change the entire cosmos. You and I are part of that. We're part of the body of Christ. Years ago, Joe Tassini told me, he said, Mark, he said, the people of which you're a part is more important than the part you play. And I agree with that. But in a culture of celebrity, you can end up feeling like you don't fit or where do I fit in because I don't have everybody else's gifts. But there is one who is the giver of every good and perfect gift and one who is the overseer of those gifts and one who is the empowering presence to use those gifts. And in that reality, you have a significant part to play. Don't let a platform entice you. Don't let the riches and the fame and the glory get your attention. Keep your eyes on the love of Jesus. Realize you are one small part of a huge purpose that God is working out. Because when we all get to heaven, the real heroes are going to be the ones that laid their life down. The first ones are going to be the martyrs that shed their blood for Jesus. The whole value system of heaven is different than the typical Western value system we see. Don't be driven by the culture. Be led by the Spirit. And with this, I'll close. A great writer and playwright from a former generation that loved God so wanted his plays to get on Broadway that he would write for them to get on Broadway. And the Spirit of God told him, Son, stop writing to get your plays on Broadway and write, to, write them as if you're an act of worship to me so that Broadway will get you to you. I'd rather have Broadway come to me than me try to get to Broadway. Because if God opens the door, no one can close it. If you open the door, you're going to discover you're competing with a lot of other people. In the body of Christ, we don't compete. We complement. We're all members of that body. Let's not compete. Let's complete. Each of us has a significant part to play. And the people of which we're a part is even greater than the part with play. Enjoy being the you God made you to be. And be that you in humility and grace, in mercy and love, in peacemaking and in justice. And watch the doors God opens for you. Because when God opens a door, no one can close it. Have a great weekend.